Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Tuesday, August 31. And starting with the uh, FTSE, we'll have a look at the EU uh, stock stock 50 and uh, the DAX. So there is a bit of trouble with this count, but at the end of the day, you've got to kind of find the best fit really. So for wave four here with one and two and three here and ABC four, this is definitely corrective here. Um, but the trouble is, is that this wave four overlaps wave one here. So that's my sort of issue. I suppose we could look at it as wave one up here and back for wave two. But the FTSE doesn't really behave in a sort of a powerful sort of way. And even here, it's sort of looking a little bit droopy. So um, it's a little bit sort of tricky to um, work out which is which here. Um, this, I've looked at the cash market and the best fit for this little count to the upside would be like this. And looking at this as wave one there as well. So I'll just put that in there. Little wave two coming here. We'll take a closer look at that. Three, I'll just do this while we're here four and five to go up there but that would just make wave three at this point which is kind of lagging the US market so we'll just need to be a little bit careful about that in that regard as well but for the time being we'll just uh, do this <clears throat> and on the one hour chart it's a little bit messier in that uh, in this area through here so just as I mentioned then looking at that as wave four there I've looked at the cash market as one two three four and five here it doesn't count very nicely as five waves there um, but also looking at this here as well as wave one so one and two here and then that sharp move up there is the third wave uh, with the top there fourth and a fifth and rolling over so we can expect it to come back um, to the somewhere into this space uh, before moving to the upside. So that's what we'll be looking for. Um, yeah. Um, so the stock 50 would kind of, I mean, the DAX is working in a triangle shape, but um, once again, this market here, we could also view it um if I can just copy that, we could also put wave four here, which is probably a better fit. But once again, we do overlap at that particular point. So I was looking for a bit of a triangle pattern here uh, in line with the DAX. There's an A and a B and a, uh, a, B, C, D and E in here. We'll just move closer into the one hour chart and I'll just point out at what point that we can't use the triangle and we should be using an impulse wave to the upside. So the impulse wave to the upside looks like one and two and three and four here. So just as an example here, well, not an example, but the real thing. So this move up through, this move through here, we could look at as, well, if it's going to be wave D, we'd need to look at it as an A wave and a B wave to that low there. So an A and a B and a C wave up here. So the C wave would be five waves and one, two, three, four here and then working out five waves there. So there may be another little sort of high to come in place there. Um, so we'll just imagine that for a moment, just a little sort of high there. But um, if we get a decent high here and we get this move a larger thing, then we'll have to look at that as one and two here and three and four and five there, and then an ABC and then up. Um, as it stands at the moment, um, we will expect, if it's going to be a triangle pattern, we would expect uh, a move back uh, through this trend line here before a move higher in that regard I think it's more you know more bullish in that in that um, in that sense so I'm just going to put wave one and two here for this count I'm making them a little bit smaller so we can just um, have a point of difference with them but the DAX is more in a triangle position so I'll just put that up there so we know so when we look at the um the DAC we've got one and two nice five waves up here for the third wave an A and a B and a C here for the A wave because with the DAX we've only got three waves up here I suppose we could look at this as one and two and three and four and five to that point and then look at this as a move back but it does appear to be five waves down here. That was the other problem with it. So an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for wave uh, here. So in this instance, we'd also be looking at a little three wave move 
coming in here, which we'll look at on the hourly chart for the wave four. So it kind of does give a bit of a triangle sort of thing through here. Um, but I just want to have a look at this on the one hour chart here for a bit more. So here, just going from wave C to D here, which is important, we can look at this as wave A and B here, and then this is five waves up here. So we can go one and two in here, and then one and two and three and four, five, the third wave. So we've got one and two and three and four here. And then the fifth wave up here is a little bit dodgy, but one and two and three and four and five. So that needs to be the top there. So if that's going to be the top, this between that low, which I don't particularly like spikes, but that low and that high, the 15,800, is the 50-60% retracement level. So we can get a three-wave move down through here before we sort of head higher at that point. So, yeah, I think we can still run with uh, this uh, particular pattern. I suppose if we get, if we'd, you know, if we come down to uh, still, yeah, I'm just thinking about counting five waves up here. We'll get to that. Let's just see how it rolls over here uh, in the next session or two. And, um, I mean, we're doing the video every day, so, you know, we're not going to, not going to miss much. Um, so, I mean, really, we want our long trade from this point here. If we do get five waves up in this leg here, then we still have to wait for a three wave move back before we can go long again. I mean, maybe we can look at that as a truncated fifth wave, but just, this just looks like, even, if, you know, from B to C here, just looks like five waves, one and two and three down to here, four here, and then five down. I suppose we should be using that low in a way, but anyway, it doesn't matter that much. There's nothing cooking here for the time being, so uh, we just need this to pull back and then uh, get set up. We'd only get trapped if we got moved in through through here but the takeaway here is that from this high to this low it's in three waves so that's bullish corrective so uh, we will be making new highs above here we just got to get our timing right for um, for this that's all okay I'll leave it at that alrighty thanks for tuning in cheers